Janatma asks one more question. Swamiji Ramakrishna had only 11 disciples when he left the body. 11 only, 12, 12. Even though he was an enlightened master, because he is enlightened, the peak of his capacity would be to create 10,000 disciples. Does this mean he was not expressing himself to the peak of his capacity and so not authentic? How to understand this? No. See, all the infrastructure available for him, the body which was available to him, with that he did to his peak of his capacity. Unfortunately, he did not prepare his body with Atta Yoga. He broke it through his sadhana time. And he also does not, did not have the help of the technology. And he, was, he did not take the help of the intellect. Please understand, I have done one of the important thing necessary, ideology shopping. Listen, ideology shopping means I went around, shopped all possible ideologies, either imbibed the essence of it or learned to answer them. How many of you are cognizing it? Unfortunately, Ramakrishna stayed in one place. Whoever came to him and shared, no doubt he has done a great thing, but to his capacity he was authentic. Yanatma, to his capacity he was surely authentic. He was authentic and he also took the responsibility of taking care of Sharada Devi, so many things. And there is no such thing that any enlightened being has to create 10,000 disciples, no. And he was also so authentic. He did not create normal 12 disciples. He created people like Vivekananda. Understand? Hey, soon the world will know. Nityananda created people like you guys. Okay? He created Vivekananda who went ahead and created millions of disciples. Not just 10,000, millions. So he did express the peak of his capacity. Ramakrishna did express peak of his capacity. 